What does slime have to do with getting your first 100 subscribers? Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get my first 100 subscribers on my very first channel and then how I did it on my daughter's channel, which was all about slime. And you know one major thing that often gets people stuck in building their YouTube channel or doing actual videos for their business. Getting my first 100 subscribers literally had nothing to do with the equipment that I had because I got my first 1 million views using a laptop that was pretty old and then just using my iPhone. I guess one thing I wanna kind of say from the very beginning is that I actually didn't focus on the numbers. And I know that's really hard to say because you kind of are crawling in the beginning and focusing on the numbers and you're like, oh, I hope that like someone besides my mom can subscribe to my channel. But I really didn't focus on that. And so these next eight steps or things that I did is really gonna help you. So if you can just take your mindset off the number of subscribers for a moment and do the things that I'm suggesting in this video, of course, I can't guarantee anything because I don't know how much work you're going to do. But if you did the work and then you follow these things, I guarantee that you will get your first 100 subscribers. And it had nothing to do with kids interrupting you while you're trying to film. What did you want to tell me? Uh, food. <laughs> Always food. You can go get something to eat. Okay. And then sometimes we got interruptions from the cat. <laughs> <laughs> now I've actually got eight points that I want to go through here plus one quote from Mr. Beast. Now if you don't know who Mr. Beast is, if you don't have kids, you probably don't know who he is. He has over 50 million subscribers. My kids love him. He does all these challenge videos. But what's been really interesting is lately people who want to learn about YouTube have been interviewing him and asking him how do you get your subscribers? How do you get videos to go viral and all that sort of stuff. Now I did just watch an interview with him with Casey Neistat and he said this. I got like 200,000 subscribers with like an iPhone 5 recording in 30 FPS 720p. Did you hear that? Get it? The equipment is not the big thing. Like I literally filmed with my phone for so long. I'm pretty sure up to my first million views on my YouTube channel. So the fact that you don't have the right equipment or a microphone or a camera like is not the reason why you don't have 100 subscribers. So let me get into this. The first thing that I knew, number one, is that I could actually help people. So the first significant channel that I created was all about babies and birth and pregnancy. I actually was a birth teacher for a very short period of time. I had incredible births that changed my life and it really inspired me to go help other women. So I started marketing on YouTube because someone had taught me something about YouTube marketing. I'm gonna get to that. So basically tip number one was I knew I could help people, but number two was that I knew that I could answer people's questions. I was in these forums, which were pregnancy and baby forums, and I saw the same types of questions being asked all the time. And I was like, you know what? I can answer these questions a hundred, a thousand times over, or I could go create a video on answering these questions and then direct these women to the answers with my YouTube videos. So if you can solve someone's problem in terms of, yes, I can teach you how to do this, or I can show you how to build that, or like my daughter's channel, she can teach you how to make slime. Okay, the other thing is that I think a lot of people forget because people get self-conscious. It's not natural to look into a machine, aka a camera or a phone or a computer and talk like you're talking to your friend. I get it, it's really strange. They get a little bit self-conscious and suddenly the video becomes about them and how they look and what's happening. So. I want you to make sure, this is my tip number three, is that the video is not about you and that's what I did in the beginning in growing my channel. I really made the video about other people. And so that gets me into tip number four is making sure that you have a good hook. And the hook is not supposed to be all about you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, I'm so glad you're here because you know, I, 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 I. No one cares until they care. Until you have like a massive channel and a massive following, people don't really care about you. They're literally thinking, okay, by watching this video, can I get this question answered? Is it gonna make me feel better? Am I gonna learn something? I know that you clicked on this because you wanna get your first 100 subscribers on your YouTube channel. Now, what if I, in the beginning, went on and on and on about my 
myself. You'd click away. So make sure that you hook people in with telling them exactly what they're going to get in the video. In the start of this video, I literally told you you were going to learn how to get 100 subscribers. The next time, number five is really important because I did learn YouTube SEO. I do have some resources that will teach you how to do YouTube SEO. And basically that is how to upload your video in a way that tells YouTube what your video is about and who they should push it out to. If you don't do this, YouTube doesn't understand who to show your video to. So there's certain keyword tags that I put in here, which are kind of like hashtags. There's certain, certain things in the description and the certain way that I have titled this video that tells YouTube, hey, this video is gonna be good for this kind of person and that will get you views and subscribers. Then the next thing that I did, Once I'd done the video and uploaded it to YouTube, I went and then shared these videos into Facebook groups that were specifically asking for these types of questions and these types of videos. So in, especially when I was doing the baby channel, in the mums groups, I saw people asking, you know, what is hypnobirthing? So I was like, oh, this is a really good video that I did that explains exactly what it is. It was really interesting because in that group were a whole heap of other birth teachers who would be like, give their answers or they would like pitch their business which is totally fine but can you imagine if there's like 30 birth instructors all pitching their business and then I come along and just drop a valuable video and that would stand out people started to notice who I was and then I started getting recommended in those groups anytime people would ask questions so it's so easy to stand out when you're doing videos the next thing that I did is that I went to industry events People asked me to come speak at their events. This was really cool. It then promoted a whole lot of people in my industry to subscribe to my channel. I found out that lots of people even overseas were utilizing my videos to teach in their birthing classes in other countries and other cities. It was pretty crazy. The last little tip that I wanna give you is that I collabed with people. Now, By the time I was collaborating with other people, so I interviewed people in my industry, by the time I was at that stage, I was way past 100 subscribers because I actually wasn't focused on the number of subscribers. I was focused on how can I help people and how can I get these really crucial videos that I'm doing in front of the right people. If you focus on that kind of stuff, you'll go way past your first 100 subscribers. I know it's so hard when people say, don't focus on the number. <laughs> But it's true, you gotta focus on the other stuff. Actually, another thing I just remembered, make sure your channel is branded and set up properly. It's not gonna make people not subscribe if your content's really good, but it will help you look professional. You know, your branding is not about fancy fonts and all that kind of stuff. It's about how you make people feel. Do you come across as credible in the niche that you're trying to maybe give advice on and stuff like that? I created my channel banner using Canva. I love using Canva. It makes graphic design and branding so simple for the average person. But if you're really not good at that stuff, go hire a graphic designer to go come up with some stuff like that. Now, as going through these steps you might be thinking well Tracy you did that channel so long ago yeah I did actually and I've done this with several different channels I've helped other people with their own channels gain subscribers I even started my daughter's YouTube channel well she wanted to do it right and she started it as purely as kind of like a slime and fun crafty kind of channel I knew exactly what to do to get her to 100 subscribers I literally followed these things I did the YouTube SEO in terms of like finding out what kinds of things are people searching for in regards to slime? I literally found out what people are searching for in the slime world. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> There's a whole niche around slime. She got asked to host a girl's birthday party, which we're actually doing this afternoon, and she's getting paid for it. She's 12 years old, and she's getting paid to go and teach nine and 10 year old girls how to make slime. She figured out how she could help people in a cool way. She answers people's questions. She tells people how to do the stuff. I always taught her how to do the hook in the beginning of the videos and not talk about like, hi, I'm honey, blah, 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 blah. She's like, hey, today's video, we're gonna teach you how to make butter slime, whatever she's doing. She then went and promoted it on her Instagram. I'll show you that here. 
She also went to industry events. So she went to a slime convention. She was actually invited to be a vendor there. And she has also collabed with some other slime makers. They're so cute. <laughs> So I hope today's video has helped you. If it has, please make sure you give a thumbs up, like this video. Thank you so much. It would really, really make my day. All right, we're off to the party. I'm gonna show you a little behind the scenes of this party. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Otherwise, I do have some other videos on how to grow on YouTube up here. So click on those and keep watching. See you in the next one.